Welcome. Please make yourself comfortable, sit down and listen up because we're about to start. This class is about lighting. Lighting is by far the most important skill a cinematographer can have. The ability to understand light, how it falls, how it shapes, where it comes from, is essential in order to create captivating imagery. This class is your basics, the essentials as we say. So sit back, relax, enjoy, but most importantly, pay attention. All right, before we get into all the different lighting setups, I want to point out that, of course, film lights are very useful and very nice to have, but sometimes practicals can do the job just fine. In this little example, I want to show you that by only using a match, you can already create a really interesting looking image. Just be creative and, you know, look around the house. Maybe you've got a really nice light laying around that you can use for your film. Whoa, where am I? Where are the matches? What is this place? Oh shit. The first technique we're talking about is broad lighting. Broad lighting is whenever you light the part of the face that is closest to the camera. This is not often used by cinematographers because it's not the most flattering look, but sometimes there is just no motivation to do otherwise. The other technique is short lighting. This is when you place the light on the other side, so lighting the part of the face that is furthest away from the camera. This creates a lot more shape and depth to the face and is more flattering and nicer to look at. Next up, side lighting. Side lighting, of course, as the name suggests, is lighting from the side. And a tip here, try to use a smaller softbox because if you use a 140 octa box, the light will most likely wrap around the face and creates light spill on the darker side and that is not what you want in this situation. If you, however, want to make this a little bit lighter, you can do that by bouncing with a five in one reflector or a polyboard, or you can use another light to create a nice soft fill on the darker side of the face. The next technique we're talking about is top lighting. Top lighting is most used in, for example, The Godfather, where they use it for these really intimate scenes because whenever you put the light from top down, everything in the eyes and under the nose is blacked out. And that's a really interesting, scary look. It's not for every scene though, but it can work in some scenes that require something like that. So keep that in mind for your next project. Next up, we've got backlighting. Backlighting is not really used on its own and mostly used to separate the talent or the actor from the background. Because it creates a little bit of a halo effect around the shoulders and around the hair, you can really separate it from anything that you have standing behind it. It's also nice to use whenever you're interviewing somebody and that person wants to stay anonymous because of course this creates a little bit of a silhouette. This example is used with a softbox, but you can also do that with a Fresnel or a reflector. This only creates a little bit more of an edge around the actor and is not really flattering for interviews or anything like that. Talking about hard light, never skip hard light. Hard light is amazing and is useful in so many different scenarios. For example, if you want to shape light, if you have blinds on a window and you put a light outside with a Fresnel on it and you shine it through, you get amazing shapes on the back wall, creating a lot more depth to your image. I suggest you just play around with this and try out different things. What I did a couple months ago, which worked really well, was I picked up a mirror, put some gaffer tape on it, little lines, then just bounced the light straight in it and it created really beautiful lines on the back wall that I used for more depth. So, endless possibilities here. I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this helped you out. I've got one more thing to say. Thank you all for listening. Class dismissed.